Hi, Melissa and Jessica. My name is Raven. I'm an entertainment reporter for Monsters and Critics. I am so excited to be chatting with you guys about the series One of Us is Lying, which is currently streaming on Peacock. How are you guys doing today? I'm great. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, getting straight into it, my first question is for both of you guys. We've already seen three episodes of the series air. How have your friends and family reacted to seeing you guys on the screen? Melissa, if you'd like to start. Sure. I mean, it's been, it's been great. I think they're just happy that they can finally see it instead of having me just talk their ear off about it because I have not shut up about it for two years. So I think they're just happy that they can finally see what I haven't shut up about for two years. So yeah, but it's been, it's been really great. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. How about you, Jessica? Um, yeah, I kind of the opposite in the way that I have shut up about it for two years because I wanted people to know or to not know anything. So it's been really cool to see everyone's reactions and their theories and what they think of the show. And yeah, it's been really fun. Yeah, that's so exciting. Uh, my last general question for both of you guys, and then we're going to dig in deep with your guys' characters and storyline. So this show seems to be following in the footsteps of so many like iconic dark teen shows. Can you name your top three favorite shows that are in the same genre? Jessica, we'll start with you this time. Oh, it's so hard. Um, I don't know if I can, uh, it's every time somebody asks me this question, it's like my brain completely forgets every television show I've ever watched. I'm trying to think, Melissa, can you help? Do you have anything? Yeah, you guys can do three together. Maybe that's a little I mean, easier. Honestly, like I think Gossip Girl isn't a murder mystery, but like it's in the same vein of like the About That and Simon and everything. And it's just like, it's a classic. Like I can't yeah. not say Gossip Girl. I was so, just gonna yes. say Elite. Can't believe I didn't oh even my think God. of it. Wait, yes. But yeah, Elite yeah. in a big way. Like, and then I probably Pretty Little Liars, actually. I feel like those are like the perfect three. Hmm. Oh my god that's iconic. Yes the holy trinity we're obsessed with this. <laughs> awesome well getting straight into guys' characters. Melissa my first question is for you. Can you tell me about getting into character to play Maeve? So how did she challenge you as an actor and where did you find inspiration? Oh god um she challenged me in the sense that like she has a lot of trauma that I have not been through I have not suffered through leukemia for most of my life so that was a scary thing to have to sort of like learn about because it's it's such a it's just it's horrible how it affects people but I did a lot of research on it like I, I spent days and weeks like reading all about the symptoms and how it like affects people and like watching like kids my age kind of like vlog through their life in the hospital on YouTube and stuff just to try and see like all of that and they it's it's such a just awful thing to go through that like that was definitely a challenge because I wanted to make sure that like if we touch on it at all or like even if we don't just to have it in my head for the sake of like making Maeve more real like I wanted to make sure that I was like approaching it the right way and respectfully um so that was definitely a challenge. And then like to get into her, I just, I made so many playlists and I did so much research that like, I just was, it was constantly just feeding my brain with like everything I could for her. Yeah, wow. It's so great to hear that you put such careful thought into this character. Uh, can you tell me maybe one song that's on your playlist? Um, I feel like her anthem, it's the first one on my playlist. It's like Seashore by The Regrets. Cause like every single yeah. lyric from that song specifically feels so Maeve that like it's it's kind of her theme song for me. Love that. Fabulous. And then Jessica, jumping to you, what can we expect from Janae in future episodes? And what was your favorite scene to film? Oh man, what can we <laughs> expect from Janae in future episodes? Um just more chaotic energy, more <laughs> absolute um disregard for people's thoughts and feelings, I think. Um <laughs> I think uh yeah, Janae is just such a fun character to play in that um, there doesn't seem to be any real rule book for how she's ever going to behave in any situation. It's kind of all over the place. So we can definitely expect more of that. Love that. And what's been your favorite scene to film so far? Um, 
Um, I mean, there's, there's so many, I think there's a scene in episode eight that I can't say much about, but it was really fun to get to work with somebody that I haven't gotten to work with so much in the show so far. And um, I just think that our energy as the characters is really exciting. And I, um, I'm really excited for people to see that. That's exciting. We'll all have to keep our eyes peeled out for episode eight. So this next question is for both of you guys. One of Us is Lying is based on a novel by Karen McManus. So I have to know, did you guys read the novel before auditioning? And then just what's your relationship to the source material? Melissa, if you want to kick us off. Yeah, of course. Um, I didn't read it until I booked the part only because like I researched it as much as I could when I was in the like audition process for it because I wanted to familiarize myself, but I didn't actually read it because part of me thought like if I ended up not booking it and I loved the book, it would just be like so heartbreaking that like I loved a story that I can't be a part of. Um, but once I got the job, I immediately read it. And I think I read it all the way through twice before we even shot the pilot. Um, wow. And my relationship with the source material, it's complicated because in the first book, which is what we're adapting this season, um, there's not a lot of Maeve for me to sort of pull from. So I like, when I read through it, I kind of just highlighted everything and like all her mannerisms or like her behavior or like little things that she does, like I kind of kept in my back pocket to like incorporate, but like the show gave me a lot of freedom to kind of build her from the ground up because there's not like a set in stone idea of what she is on the book. So I kind of, I took what I could from the book, but then I made her my own as much as I could. Yeah, that is incredible. And I have to say, I love your chair. Are you sitting in a seashell? Is <laughs> it like a seashell chair, yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed. And then Jessica, that same question for you, just like your relationship with the source material. And when did you read the book? Yeah, I got the ebook when I got the audition because there was a lot of things in my audition that um, I didn't, I, I didn't really understand what was going on because they didn't give me a lot of context. And it was a lot of, there was a couple scenes from later in the show that obviously I didn't have scripts for. So I was just like, what is the context of any of this? what am I doing? Like, what is, how evil am I? Like, I just don't get it. So then I was like, okay. Uh, so then I kind of read through just the Janae portions of the book, just so I could get it in my brain, kind of what the situation was. And then once I got the part, I also read the book all the way through. And I just thought it was um, so, like, I wish that I had read that book in high school. Do you know what I mean? It was so, it just grabs you. It's so sexy. It's so funny. It's so um, just fun to read. And yeah, it was really, I was, got really excited after I read the book. Yeah, that's fabulous. And we'll wrap this up with one more question each. I'll jump to you, Melissa. Can you tease the series finale? What should fans be most looking forward to? Oh God, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um, this is always a hard one. Just one solid sentence. <laughs> I feel like she's not having a hard time because of the questions. She's, she's having a time, hard time choosing something. Oh, like, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I just like, there's so much I can pick from. It's just, oof. Um, <laughs> oh God, I don't know what I can say. Um, can I curse? Go ahead. Two words. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, that's okay. all I can say. I don't think I can say more. <laughs> we love that. And then Jessica, for our last question, can you tell me what you, what your hopes are for the future of this television show universe? Like season two, movie adaptation, what is like your dreams? I mean, I definitely think we all want a season two. We all want to explore these characters more in depth. Um, as much as this show is such a mystery, uh, mystery based show, I think ultimately what people are responding to are the characters. So I think there's so many different relationships and friendships in the show. There's so many different dynamics that we could only dip our toes into in season one. So I think that that is what I'm really excited to see if we get a season two. <laughs> 